What's up, sports bettors? I have an extremely sharp, mathematically profitable bet for the U.S. Open. And all, you know, most sports bettors, I shouldn't say all, they like to focus on the sexy sports, right? NFL, college football, NBA. But where sports books slip up most of the time, you'll notice is often in soccer, tennis, sports that are a little less well known. Not that there's no opportunity in the NFL, but a lot of the big opportunities are in tennis. So the bet I was able to find is for the US Open, and I'm fading Andy Murray. So he's a minus 2.5 spread favorite, but lines have been moving towards Francisco Curandulo. Okay, so this is a US Open play where we're betting Francisco Curandulo plus two and a half on the game spread at minus 110 odds. So I'm no tennis betting expert, but I'm really good at understanding math and markets. That's my background. And what we can see looking at the odds is, hey, a few things, right? And this is why sports betting is so fascinating to me, why I absolutely love it, and I'm dedicated to beating the sports books every single day, right? Is what we can see right here is Caesars is giving us minus 110, right? Because every sports book sets lines independently and offers different markets, what we can do is we can compare the lines on Caesars to those on other sports books. So what we see is DraftKings is pricing this at minus 120. And then Pinnacle Sportsbook, so this is the sharpest bookmaker. It's an offshore sportsbook that allows really large bet sizes. So long story short, similar to like the New York Stock Exchange, it's a very fair, efficient betting market. They take a high amount of betting volume, and it's a very efficient market, right? And what we see here is we're getting tons of improvement from both DraftKings and Pinnacle. In fact, because Andy Murray minus 2.5 is plus 110 on Pinnacle, and Francisco Carandulo plus 2.5 is minus 110 on Caesars, this is a zero-hold market, right? It's a pick -em market. In other words, by definition... One of these bets, either Andy Murray minus two and a half at plus 110 or Francisco Carandula plus two and a half at minus 110 has to be mathematically profitable. Like literally by definition, one of these bets is profitable. These are equal and opposite outcomes and it's a pick em market, right? So what I'm rolling with is Carandula plus two and a half on the game spread because why would I bet against the sharpest bookmaker? right? So the second point to note is what you can also do is bet online is another offshore sports book. It's pretty smart, sharp, whatever you want to call it. Efficient betting market, low vague, low juice is what you'll notice is bet online. They don't offer these alternate, you know, game spread markets like Pinnacle does, right? They're not that sophisticated. So all they're offering is plus two minus two. And what you'll notice is they're very close to in line with Pinnacle for their plus two, you know, game spread, right? They're giving you minus 124 on Carandulo, plus two on the game spread. We're getting in plus two and a half at minus 110, which is significantly better. So, you know, we're first of all getting half a game of improvement. So if this match ends by two games, our bet on bet on line would push our bet on Caesars would win, right? And we're getting better odds, so that's ridiculous. So you can see I locked in this bet for 3,300 bucks. You know, we also have this other bet I gave out in a previous YouTube video. So that's, you know, a lot of money, right? Sharp betting on the US Open, tons and tons of bets open already, as you can see. Um, you know, the US Open is very profitable. There have been a lot of good bets, so hopefully you've been able to find some on Odds Jam. Probably already like $4,000 in EV locked up just on the US Open. So we can reload Odds Jam and just see other good bets and see if anything else pops up. But this current bet we have has 43 bucks in profit margin, right? 1.31% edge, $3,300 stake. We're not betting on sports, we're investing, right? Literally, that's exactly what we're doing. So anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Let's make some money.